Returning back to Numea, it was time to provision for our trip to Vanuatu. Baskets inside. Everything. It's huge. They even have full clothes. And someone's into her MC Hammer pants. They're not MC Hammer pants. <laughs> Can't touch this. And that is all cheeses from the end all the way through. Still cheeses. Still cheeses. Still cheeses. Still cheese. More cheese. My god, there's some cheese. Telling what? Yeah, so we're doing our conversions. Google Translate. You can see it translates on the screen to different to what's actually showing. Mm. He's trying to find his cereal. <gasps> Dark chocolate. Milk chocolate. He's trying to find the difference what the two are. So he's getting muesli, chocolate muesli. We're going to try hazelnut chocolate this time. It's always got to have the word chocolate in it. Chocolate, everything. And it's lost in translation, but the poisoner is a uh, fish, but it looks like poison. They're going to poison me. I want to look at what the spirally thing is. You haven't found your frozen snails. No. Sea snails. Our friend Mark had a few of those. Strapping our bag to the trolley. Got a big walk. A few knots there. How do I try lots? Not easy shopping. <laughs> That's my bum, I can't go that way. <laughs> You're not the greatest foot pass. <laughs> Your office? Well, it's exit day today. We're about to clear out of New Caledonia. We're just grabbing all our stuff and we're about to start doing the big march right around the uh, uh, Bay of Port Moselle to Immigration, Customs, and then finally the uh, Port Authority to get our clearance certificate. So, time to go. Now, one of the things when you check out is you get duty-free fuel. So you need to work out what you need because you need to know the litres. So I need 210, say. 110 and 100, so about 210 there, and I've got 60 uh, litres out there, so I'll tell them I want 270 litres. Beautiful. So we're just checking out with the marina. So it's all good. Stop one. Immigration. Yeah, you don't want to do it? No. You don't want to be the captain? No. We, um, we only want you to go in. Yeah, no. guess we'll have to. You'll have to wait. Oh, immigration on. So second stop, we're off to customs now. And we're getting our fuel excise voucher and, I don't know, clearance procedure number two. Final stop, Port Authority.
Final stop, Port Authority. Done. Yeah. We're cleared. Yep. We're out of the country officially. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Time to leave. <laughs> some puppy. Well, uh, goodbye, New Mayor. Goodbye, New Caledonia. We're just clearing out. We I probably should have videoed a little bit of the uh, fueling at the fuel dock. Uh, moral of that story is overestimate your fuel. Uh, one of our gauges must have been a little bit stuck and didn't give us the right reading, and we had an extra jerry that we didn't realise. So we had to pay for uh, six, 80 litres actually, uh, no duty, uh, with duty on it rather. So a little bit more expensive, but not that much really. In a boat scheme, cheap. So yeah, we're heading round, and then we're trying to get to uh, Aunt's Magic. Uh, Bay Magic, or if not, we'll stop in Canal Wooden and prepare for our journey up through Loyalties and cutting across into Benoatu in Port Resolution. Big enough. <laughs> Doesn't matter how much water you have, there seems to be a boat always in the way. Oh, we're both pointing up a bit higher. Go this side. He's going above. He doesn't, he doesn't want to lose his wind. Easy. I think we've got hot glue holding the cable, so we need the cable to come free to get a bit more length to be able to feed it into the touch screen, the keyboard buttons to be able to contact it back on those contacts. There's not enough left on there. But at least we've fixed the button that was caught. They're all working again nicely now. But yeah, that button there was jammed down yesterday and that locked it up and everything stopped working. So we've had to disassemble it, we've been forced to. That's fine, we've just got to release the glue on that and we can do it again. Unfortunately, the ribbon cable is not joined at the keypad and I had torn it when separating the glued layers. The autopilot controller now was no longer easily repaired. It's about a 24 hour sale, at this point we've got to slow down. We don't want to get there before six. So we want to maintain six knots. But we, I'm anticipating a bit of a wind drop during the night, so we'll just maintain that speed for now. We've been plodding along now for eight hours. Um, we've just tipped under the 100 miles to go, 99.9, .9, so we're getting closer. Uh, wind's been pretty consistent, 12 to 16 knots predominantly, but sitting on 14 at the moment, nice average of that. Um, just, yeah, quite forward of the beam, we're at 35 degrees apparent, a lot of it to 40 so we're pushing in which is the crappiest sailing. This would be lovely if we were going downwind. Madam's in her normal position. Well we didn't video that, that was a bit of excitement. We just had a bang and it looks like our first reef line snapped uh, in the middle of the boom so uh, just a bit of fatigue. It was a second hand rope after we chafed the other one. So we haven't had a very good run on our reef line, so we've got to pull that out once we get in tomorrow and then we'll re thread it through. Oh, oh someone sat on our spreader last night. Oh, the dirty buggers. They've crapped on our boat. Must have been up top up here, sitting up there. Somehow it's wound up. Oh, it's got a bulky 
Starting to rear. Damage. I suppose it does a few flaps up there. So we're not sure. We think we've got it the right way up. No internet yet to check. We haven't got Starlink out. Alright. Behind all the cloud is Mount Yasser, like the volcano. Well, hopefully we can get up there tomorrow. It doesn't look like it'd be good today, it's all clouded off. But we're busy, there's lots of boats here already. So we are just rounding into Port Resolution. It's a very protected little harbour in here. She's gonna be digging in. I think we need to get this room back up. She's, she's. Before leaving New Caledonia, I emailed immigration and requested permission for us to clear in at Port Resolution and not Lanakau, as it is a much better protected anchorage. With permission granted, and lucky for us, biosecurity had arrived soon after we had our anchor down. This one hasn't lasted that long. <laughs> it's already split. Do you like the anchor? <laughs> is it? That's a genuine rockner. <laughs> that's the prototype. The that's a genuine rockner. Started building rockners. This is the first one. <laughs> Chris is just fixing our reef one. It snapped at the end, but it's gone inside the boom a little bit, so you've just got to somehow. So sea winds are really good at putting drawstrings in, except for we need it on this side, and we're trying to work out if we can somehow run reef line through. Um, and the reason why we're not mucking around with this too much is because it snapped just above us, so we're hoping it's laying just under here. Yeah. So we're hoping we take this cap off and just pull the line through. Mm, so otherwise we'd have to thread it. Yeah. Unless it's slingshotted halfway yeah. out the boom, then we've got more problems. Yeah, and it's hard because it's on the outside of the... Yeah. There, and you've got solar panels, which are... There's always something in the way. At least they're catching the screws. Okay. Oh. 
Right, what about you? That's why you, you lose stuff. Off. What's that? I need the torch torch, not a phone. Just there. You see it. Alright, so what do you reckon? Yeah, here, I reckon? So you need something about that length. How long is our wire? If I can get my arm in there I can actually reach, but I'm on the wrong side for my arm. Hang on. Oh, it's not bad. <laughs> You know, it would be good if you could put on there a um, fishing, you know, a squid lure or something that with the hooks on it, barbs. Your gaff would be long enough? Okay, I'll go and get that. Okay, so we're up to our third design. Squiddy squid hook. hook on the end of a mop. Let's see what happens with this one. Hang on. No, it worked. It worked. We got. The hook failed. Back. Uh, I'm not sure, but we're going to have six of us apparently in that. I might have to put the um, gimbal in the dry bag because I think we could get a bit wet. Um, that could be interesting. We need the pump to get it a bit higher out the water. I think I'll sit in the middle. <laughs> On the seat? Oh. No, in the middle, middle. Uh, far we got? I'll tell you, that's right, this way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just waiting. Um, there's a few want yeah. to try the meals here. But my tummy's a bit funny, so I'm going to pass. We got our meal. We're good to go. <laughs> Pete has to dig deep. <laughs> it's up to you, Pete. You're doing it. You're doing it for the team. Go. That was lunch today. Probably an 8.5. I week. reckon it was alright too. Yeah, 8.5. We'll find out later if the uh, water's good. And it was vegetarian. You got your vegetarian. <laughs> we had omelette and, and potatoes and, and beef. Nice. Beef Made we had. Beef. I don't think there was beef. No, it was veggie. That was canned beef. No, it wasn't. That was potato. It was sweet potato. It was a purple oh, potato. potato. Well, there you go, in disguise. <laughs> Who would know? <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.